Hey guys, today's Daily Dose is about creating your own reality. So it's interesting because a lot of times people feel as though they are victims of circumstance, that things are happening to me and if I'm feeling a certain way then why isn't the universe um, supporting that? And it's funny because it is such a misinterpretation of what's really going on and then we give our power away. And so I just wanted to make a couple things clear because I focus on this a lot during my days. When I coach people, I give them tools for these things and it really works and I wanted to share that with you. So here's the thing. A lot of times our energy is resonating with something that's been a core energy for a really long time, meaning if you had a troubled childhood or traumatic experience, that might be a very strong vibration for you internally. You may still be attracting some things that remind you of that. And what that is, is an opportunity for you to change the course of that. Instead of reacting like you normally would, it's going to be very difficult, but you as a creator have the opportunity and the ability to not react or believe it any longer, but see that there's a new possibility and then react differently. And when we act differently, everything starts to change. Our outside world starts to become different than staying the same as the old patterns. So I'm going to give you an example. Say, for instance, I was believing that, um, say, I don't know, somebody did something really bad to me when I was younger. And just, let's use rejection. It's a huge one for people. So I feel like I've been rejected a lot of times in my childhood. So then I become a teenager and I'm starting to get a lot of really good feedback. People really like me. I'm doing really good things in my life. But there's still that sense that, well, I'm not sure because this is new. I don't know. I mean, I guess I bet I base my identity in a way on outside validation. And when we do that, what happens is we're kind of like a feather in the wind. We just blow all over the place. We don't have that core. And so what happens then is something happens negatively that reminds us of the old way of thinking of rejection. We don't know what to do, so we start searching outside of ourselves for validation that our new way of thinking is correct. But that's never the way it's going to work. How it's going to work is you have to start thinking differently, start feeling differently, and raising your own vibration to affect outside circumstance so that if one of those negative old reminders comes to you, it's coming to you as an opportunity not to confirm to you that you're rejectable or something's wrong with you, but to confirm to you that you have a choice to change that right now. And what I would do in this circumstance is I would take that new rejection and say, wow, you know, I, it doesn't feel like it used to. I know for a fact that there's nothing rejectable about me in this circumstance because my soul is pure and I'm a soul having human experience. So if I'm whole and enough on my own, this is happening to me. What I would choose to do these days is say, okay, thank you for your opinion or thank you for that feedback. I'm going to do something else now to sort of make my own abundance, create my own abundance. I'm gonna push more love onto you. I'm going to feel more love inside of me. So just a daily dose for today is, you are the creator. If you wanna change circumstances outside of you, change the way you feel about you internally. Change the way you believe what to be true about yourself internally. And externally, it will fall in alignment. And that's how it goes. So I hope you have a great day, and that's your daily dose for today. Namaste.